longest reigning British monarch. Two things are coming to my mind. Two things. Two things. I see where you see where Elizabeth I was important, Spanish Armada, 1588, all that good stuff, but she really did she's the longest reigning, no, that's not what she's known for. Okay, the two others that are popping up in my head are Henry VIII, but again, you, when I taught my students about British history, Henry VIII generally, you talked about what he did with his wives, and you know, as much as Henry VIII was important and there's all this stuff about him and he separated from the church and he created the Church of England, all that stuff, you don't hear him talking about him being the longest reigning. So what pops up in my head, oh gosh, I'm shaking, um, is Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Age was named after. This has got to be the answer. Oh, is it Henry the Eighth? Oh, I'm going to be mad. But it's not. He wasn't there the longest. He got too fat. He died. Um, so Queen, it's got to be Queen Victoria. Okay, I did my best. I did my best. Queen Victoria. Victoria, I believe, I believe that Queen Victoria was the longest reigning British monarch, and I'm going to go lock the ship. She went and said who all the people were, and why the Queen was the reigning monarch. You're making me teary-eyed when you're sitting there going, do your best, do your best, do your best. You knew so many facts. How long do you think she reigned? I, I think it was, I think it was over 70 years. And she took the throne young. And I'm just hoping it was She's longer than Henry VIII. Because it been a while. Look at the board. Okay. Oh boy. Longest reign. Yeah. Yeah. You thought that she reigned for over 70 I years. Mean, the reality is Queen Victoria only reigned for 63 years. Oh dear. 63? 63. 63. She, she, only, she only reigned for 63 okay. years. Okay. All right. But that was enough to be the longest reign.